Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Blissful Techno Health. This video is lesson five in my how to use a computer with Windows 11 for beginners series. In this video, we're gonna cover the topics of how to make sticky notes, how to uninstall a program, and how to use Task Manager. Now, I went ahead and made this little sticky note, just so you guys can see my sticky note, and I'm gonna show you how I made this. Now, sticky notes can be really useful if you're someone who is really busy and needs to take notes all the time. I, myself, am always writing down to-do lists, and I will put them on my computer sometimes for uh, to-dos for my business. And so, uh, they can be really, really useful. Now, to use sticky notes, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, you can just go to Start, All Apps, you know, scroll down to um, sticky notes and like everything else we've, I've showed you before in the earlier lessons you can make uh, shortcuts <clears throat> or if you don't want to go that way you can just type sticky notes and search and it will come up okay now when you first open up sticky notes it's gonna show up like this and you can make your st new new note and they'll show up over here and you can close it down here once you have one here, you can also add a new sticky note by clicking the new note here and make another to-do list like take a bath, drink a Pepsi, go to gym. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just writing stuff down. Anyway, you see how that works. Now it's kind of cool because you can also change the color of the note um, to categorize them. So let's say you're doing... Um, personal things so you make it one color and you're doing a YouTube video and you're doing notes so you use it for another color and you make another one that is related to your business and you can make whoops you can make that you know a different color so you can change the color of your sticky notes so these are nice nice to have <clears throat> nice to have around if you're a really you know really busy person and need to make notes and I don't see a lot of people use sticky notes but a lot of people that I've shown sticky notes really like it I just don't think a lot of people know about it, so you guys now know about it. Okay, so item number two, let's talk about programs and how to uninstall programs. Now, in an earlier lesson, I did show you um, an area where you can manage your programs, but we're going to be specific today on how to uninstall these programs that you don't want in your computer anymore. <clears throat> if you go to um, your start menu, okay, Obviously, we know we can go to all apps and see all the apps, okay? But we can't manage them from here. Now, if I go to settings, I can go to my apps um, in settings, this, this app section. Sorry, I got distracted for a second because I see I have this update done, ready to go. <clears throat> but we can see, uh, we can click on apps and we can see here we've got apps and features. And if I click on apps and features, I can come down and it shows an app list of all the apps installed on my computer. And I can manage them here. Now, I can click on it, it won't do anything, okay? I have to actually come over here to this, these little three dots to manage it. I can modify it, which will pull up its own installer usually to modify, or uninstall it, which typically will, bring, will typically bring up its own installer as well. So let's say I don't want Adobe Express. I click on those three dots, uninstall, okay. That's fine. Oh, it looks like it's install installing it via Windows. This one didn't have a separate installer. Boom, done, it's gone. Now, I have had some apps before not show up in that list that are installed. If for some reason you can't see an app that you know you have installed and it doesn't show up, you're gonna wanna go to Control Panel. So go to Search, type Control Panel. And in Control Panel, you see at the bottom down here, you have Uninstall a Program. If you click on this, it's going to bring up the old style um, program manager. And everything should be listed in here. But it's just another way you can do it. And here you can actually click on it, unlike the other one. You don't have the three dots. You click on whatever program it is, and you can click on uninstall, and that will get rid of it. So there's another way to uninstall a program. Some programs. Um, can be kind of tricky and you need a third party uninstaller to fully remove it if it's like malware and whatnot. But we're not going to get into that in this video. Just know that you can manage your programs from these two different areas. Now, a third way to get to it, which 
it was my favorite way for a long time, was just right clicking on the start menu instead of left clicking, you know, to bring up the menu. If you right click, it brings up this menu, and at the very top, you can click apps and features, and it'll take you straight to the settings area that I showed you um, the first time. So that's just kind of a quick, fast, and easy way to get to it. I really like right clicking on the start menu because there's a lot of options in here that you can use. Um, you can access your power options, system settings, device manager, um, settings, and etc. So just a good way um, to know how to do it. So there's that option there to also get to the uninstall programs menu. The last thing I want to show you is how to use the task manager. And knowing the task manager is really important, especially if you're ever having to troubleshoot your PC or look at what's going on or just to gain some information. So to access the task manager, you can right click here as well on the start menu and come to task manager. Okay, your task manager is exactly what it says it is. It managed tasks. Okay, sorry, I just clicked up here on the, the maximize. You don't have to maximize it, okay? Now, you can see it's showing programs that are running right now. I've got my recording software and the sticky notes open. I can click on more details and it's gonna pull up everything running in the computer right now. Look at this huge list, all this stuff's running in the background, making it so Windows can run and all the programs I have so that they can run. Okay, everything's listed here. So this is important to note because you can see here at the top how much of my processor power is being used up. How much of my random access memory is being used in this moment, 56%. Okay, very, very good stuff to know. If your computer's running really slow, you can always come to your task manager and go, what is up? And one of these might be maxed out. If one of these are maxed out, you got a problem. You might need to close some things. Sometimes I have to come to task manager because um, I'll have a program, for example, this Android program, every once in a great while, it'll freeze up. And I can't close the program. So I gotta open task manager, find the program in the list here. Okay, you find it, you click on it, and you can click on end task. And Windows will shut the program down. Typically, if if the task if Windows can't shut it down, you're probably having a major problem. You might have to reboot your computer and address some other issues. But most of the time, you can come to your task manager, right click on it, end task, or just left click on it and end task. So task manager, it's good. It's telling you everything that's running in the background. Fewer details, it just shows you the main programs running. More details, shows you all of it. Okay, that's this first tab up here on the top left. We've got a multiplicity of tabs here along the top. The next tab is your performance tab. This also gives you information on what's going on. You can see how much of my processor is being used up all the time. You can see it's fluctuating as the processor is working. It's kind of like lungs, breathe in, breathe out. Your memory, um, what your hard disk is doing at the moment, etc., etc. And down here it gives you more information as well. Um, you can see here, this is a quad core processor that I'm running. Um, it's got hyper threading, it looks like. So it um, looks like it's got eight. So you can get more information, deduce more information about your processor here and whatnot. So you can also click on memory, take a look at your RAM, and it'll tell you you're using you know one slot on your mo motherboard. It's sewed in, which means it's laptop memory, um, the, the bus rate of your RAM, the available memory right now, what's in use, and etc. So really good information here, especially if you're troubleshooting and trying to figure out what's going on. You can look at app history. I honestly have never had to use app history, but you know, maybe someday there'll be a reason to. Startup can be important because you may have programs in the background running when Windows starts that you don't want to run. For example, let's say Spotify, Spotify is enabled, but I don't want it running all the time. I just want it to run when I tell it to run. I can um, disable that if it was enabled. Uh, same goes for anything. So you might have programs that are popping up when you turn the computer on all the time, and they might be programs that you do want to use, but you don't want it to be running all the time. You just disable it from startup, and when you want to use it, you just go to the program and run it, and it will come up. If you get a lot of things running in the background, it can use up memory and processing speed, you know, causing more processes to run, which can slow your computer down, so you usually want to keep your startup programs kind of limited as much as possible. But some of these you have to have running. Um, you don't have to have you know certain things, but some of these, like if you have a driver for your sound card or video drivers that need to be running, 
you want to keep those things in check. Windows security notifications, you're probably going to want to keep that. You know, it's got a low impact. It's not doing much in the background. So good things. This tells you what's going on, what users log logged in, and what's going on here. Uh, extra details, uh, services that are running, which you'll probably never need to get into. This will be more of a tech-related um, area. But I feel like average users do need to understand the performance, their hardware, um, your startup programs, and also your processes, and knowing how to close a process when something happens, because we always get there. We have a program that freezes up and it won't shut down, so you can go to Task Manager and shut it down, and reboot your computer if needed to try to reboot the program. Anyways, that is how to use the Task Manager, how to uninstall programs, and how to make sticky notes. I hope this video has been informational for you guys. I definitely enjoy doing these, and love being able to help you guys out with this kind of stuff. I did it for a long time as an IT specialist and also working in a computer store. So if you guys have any questions, please shoot me a comment down below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next lesson. I have one more lesson I plan on creating, lesson six. If I find more stuff I feel like I can share, I might make a seven, but so far I think number six is going to be it. So anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.